only on esportbf.com. All right, guys, we are back once again. This is our second semifinals match for ESB League Qualification Cup number two. Joined here by Deuce. I'm Brett FX. We've got Apex versus Virtual Team. And uh, apparently I mispronounced, which is no no uh, surprise there. Somebody else's name, I think it was Crash? Cash. Cash Core. Okay, so I got that cash. It's all good, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess it up at least once, but you know. <laughs> More like twenty times, but you know. All good. Oh, it's all good. All right, so as we are going to go ahead and break on out once again on Amitans, we are going to be seeing Apex on the defensive side. Cash is going to go ahead and look for the left flank, make sure nobody's going to be coming around for a wide uh, push on their tank. Does look like they will be able to stop any kind of crossover. Not that one has actually happened yet. And uh, this is just uh, slowly trying to feel each other out where exactly players are going to be going at. Tanks are going to be kind of throwing some shots back and forth. Nothing too exciting there. Blaze deciding, hey, maybe this is the time to actually push on out. Aim is going to be the man to try and get that first kill. He will be able to take down at least one. Cash is going to be able to pick up one on that left flank as well. There's a potential push here from the medic. And it uh, does look like Aim got stuck a little bit there onto some sandbags. But, uh, oh, that tank is not going to be out. He does have some nades as he decided to throw him here. Doesn't look like he is going to do just that. Go ahead, waiting. Trying to get the tank maybe a little bit closer before he commits to those shots. But uh, so far, pretty good hold. And really, AIM right now is doing a fantastic job along with his uh, tanker. And one player actually jumping on down. I like this positioning here from AIM now. And this is just such a tough spot to be in. We do see the tanker now down actually the hill here. So it's kind of an awkward position for him to be in. He's not going to be able to help out. But AIM spots out the entire team. He will be able to pick up only one. Now it's going to be up to Cash to maybe come back in and get a couple of these kills. He's using that auto loading, which is so damn good in this situation. He spots out one. Will be able to take down Blaze. Looking for a second one here potentially. But so much smoke, it's so hard to see. No, he does end up going down. Let's go on with Prime. As he does get picked up as well. Bulldog, can you make this happen? Can he clean it up? AIM is going to be downtown as well. Taking down Legolas. Looks like they have managed to stall this push out for the time being. They are winning the burn once again. But no, the uh, the tanker and the support kit are able to do some more damage. Support does end up going down for the other team. Cash is doing all that he can to keep his team up and alive using those revives. Very, very nice. And that is going to be a very good hold. We do have a push coming in. On the far left side of the map, is anybody actually there to do anything about it whatsoever? Doesn't look like that's the case. They did stall out just a little bit. Maybe Prime did spot that. But uh, very, very hectic little uh, exchange going down. And right now, it does look like Virtual Team is all about this push. And AIM is in a fairly decent position here to catch a couple of these guys maybe off guard but they did kind of get wind of where he was going to be sitting and he does get spotted out will end up going down let's see what uh, cash is going to be able to do now basically a one versus three here in this situation if they decide to push we'll be able to spot out one takes him down but the raid leader from virtual team will be able to take him down blaze now up and alive not the best position to be in while the tank is there Throwing shells. Does he have any way of getting his team back in? He does. Spawn Beacon is now going to be thrown out. At the same time, we could potentially be seeing a tank getting pushed as well. And Blaze able to take down Cash. And can he make it happen here? Shots are going down to each of these players. Spots out one. We'll be able to take down Prime. He is on the burn here. So this is going into their favor right now. Aim. Has to back on up. A lot of damage coming in. He has absolutely no medic kit whatsoever. I think he has been spotted out. Nice pick up there. That's going to be getting the assist. Legolas with a nice two-piece. They have managed to clear out the alpha point completely. And they will be able to get this burn. So fantastic job coming in. 
at a very awkward spot, but uh, Blaze staying alive, keeping his team in the game, the raid leader really showing off the power that it can bring to this match. I'm impressed with how aggressive they just played. Uh, that was that was good to watch. All moving up together from different sides, very coordinated. Oh, absolutely. And actually, they did something smart at the end. They uh, Apex pulled back their tank because he knew it was lost, so it didn't want to you know go into the next sector, uh, you know, without having a tank. Well, well, yeah, but but at the same time, like I, I see what you're talking about, but it's not that big of a deal because you do get a new tank on each of the sectors, whether you die or not, uh, it does respawn. I will say this. It is smart in the sense that because once you die anytime during that next sector, you get a tank almost instantly. It was smart in that respect because he will be able to get a second tank very, very fast if they do have a, a failed push coming in on this defense uh we do see uh looks like uh let's see aim was able to take down blaze actually want to go on board right now with aim who has pinned down a couple of these players trying to push in onto this left flank and again this is such a tough place to actually push in nice shots coming in from aim able to take down the medic as well so they are going to be able to stall out this push completely. And now it does look like the virtual team has to reevaluate where they're going to be pushing in from. Nice pickup onto Blaze. Aim right now is just lighting up that kill feed. We do have Cortec as well getting a couple of kills. Let's go on board with what he is actually seeing. As uh, there's a little bit of a push that was actually happening onto that alpha point. But we'll go back on board with Aim. See if he's uh, managed to spot anything else. Spawns are going to be coming back in for virtual team. They're all the way into the back part of their map. And yeah, this is, uh, you know, right at this moment here, they got six minutes on the board. You know, virtual team, they can play it slow. Uh, I'd like to see them kind of group up. Uh, kind of, basically like they did before, have that coordinated push. All five players left up and alive. And it does look like the tank is going to go ahead. Start pushing on out. He wants to disable that gun as quickly as possible. And they will be able to get those first shots into the tank. Only one, though, decides to go ahead and back out. Do we have anybody going in for a flank? Doesn't look like it just yet. As they are just trying to decide where exactly they want to go. Does he spot him out laying down right there? I don't know if he does. As you know, guys, they do not have the outlines themselves. So this is this is strictly a spectator uh, feature here, getting those outlines around the player. So you know, no, no wall hacks are happening in this game. I promise you that. As we do see uh, Legolas positioning himself around this alpha point. He is using that AT kit. That tank is uh, fairly far away. I don't think he's going to be able to do much there in that situation. Mortars are going to be coming out to kind of push him around finding any kind of power position. Ooh, nice splash damage is going to be coming down. Oh, my God. Wow, Deuce. Okay, fix your mic, man. It is just going crazy. Sorry for that stream. Uh, but... Uh... <laughs> Mike. Are you back? I'm, I'm here. Okay, no no screaming in my ears anymore, okay? I didn't scream. <laughs> Dude, your mic just went ape shit crazy. Okay, so uh, back to the match here. AIM is going to be able to spot out a couple of players trying to make this push. Can he actually stall this out? And it's not going to be the case. Core is going to be following back behind. Could actually go in for the revive. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to make it. One kill does end up going down. That's going to be Bulldog picking up Legolas. Nice there. Able to pick up AIM. AIM is still alive. And I believe that they are going to be able to hold this off once again. So fantastic job here from the boys from Apex. And we are down now to 16 tickets and three and a half minutes onto the board. AIM's going to go ahead and do a little bit of hunting. As he's going to find a couple of these stragglers. Once again, just kind of uh, staggering out those deaths. So they're not going to be able to make one continuous push. Ooh, did AIM actually spot him out? Had to have seen him there. He does. 
be able to see the backpack of the uh, tanker. And with the medic going down, we are not going to be seeing any revives whatsoever happening in the group. Orders are going to go out. AIM is deciding to go ahead and get aggressive. Not finding anybody just yet. Two minutes and 30 seconds left for this round. But it's getting very close to crunch time. Try and make it happen in the second point. And you can hear the footsteps right now. He knows there's a guy going to be coming up the stairs. That's going to be one easy kill as he takes down shot. Now unlocking that ability three, which really doesn't have that big of a use on this kit, I don't feel. But uh, he is going to be able to now run with the limpet charge in hand. Now aim is uh, basically just roaming at this point. Kind of looking around for any of these players, trying to catch them off guard. Blaze does get a nice two kills in a row. We'll see if he's going to be able to take down anybody in this next push. Not going to be putting down those uh, spawn beacons just yet. I'd like to see him kind of maybe get a couple of them down just in case. Let his uh, let his teammates go first. They knew exactly where Bulldog was going to be at. But the communication should come in for Apex to let him know where this uh, virtual team is going to be pushing in from. They are kind of back behind. He spots out one. He will be able to take down Prime. Nice shots coming in from Blaze. And there you have it. We are going to be seeing a couple of spawn beacons going down. The push is going to be commencing at the moment. Let's see if the rest of his team are going to be able to do anything at all. We do see uh, the tanker on the other side of the map, as well as the support kit trying to do some work. But no, shot is going to get taken out once again. Blaze is still up and alive in the backside of this point. He is getting chased down, though. His teammates are going to be spawning back in, immediately getting killed, though. Spawn beacon has been destroyed. We'll see if he's going to be able to clean it up. Both players are lining out. We'll go down. Will he be able to get some spawn beacons up? Get some help. There it is. Two more players should be coming in on the backside. Six lives remain. 36 seconds, but Prime is ready for it. He knows exactly where they're going to be coming in from. He spots out the second one as well. Legolas goes down. 21 health here. All he has to do is just chip away at this damage. We do see the Trench Surgeon coming in. So that will allow them to get those healths. The heals as well as the revives going down. Nice little kill with the sweeper. But guess what? Aim was trying to come in from behind. He ends up going down. Six uh, lives are still left up. Cash is now going to be coming in from the back. He decides to go ahead and get back onto the point. Only able to pick up one. Still the raid leader is going to be left up and alive. That will be Blaze. And this is going to be complete and utter chaos here, guys. As uh, you can see, the tanker is going to be having fights on both fronts. The Trent Surger will end up going down. Zab has to go ahead and back on out. He's going to be able to take him down with the nade. But we are going to be seeing Aim and Bulldog both coming in on top of Blaze. Will Blaze be able to stay alive? He will not. And we are going to be seeing a 1-0 in favor of Virtual Team. But Apex, that was getting very, very close there towards the end of the match. And we are going to be seeing now flipping on over to the other side. Apex, what can they do on the attacking side? Aim 13 and 6. Cash going 13 and 8. Fantastic job on those two players. Aim definitely doing a fantastic job there towards the end of that first half. Roaming around, getting a lot of those kills, slowing them down quite a bit. Blaze eating up there towards the end. 9 and 4, staying alive. That was a very good play on his part. Able to get those nice two kills in a row as well as using that raid leader's ability, getting those players in as fast as possible onto the point as close as possible. And uh, it was almost going to happen there, guys, but not going to be the case. So we'll see if they're going to be able to hold off on this defense. All right. 
And now we are just waiting for uh, the teams to load on in. So Deuce, are you back? Are you, I'm, I'm here. I've are you able here. to talk without blowing my ears off? Of course. <laughs> Dude, I'm serious, man. When you go back and watch the stream, like it, it was, it was pretty bad. I, I basically threw my headphones off. It hurt so bad. Um, so anyways, what, huh? I don't know what happened. I wasn't saying anything. I just saw the, <laughs> the activity on the, on Discord just like blow up. But I was like, <laughs> I'm not talking. There's no sound around me. Yeah, um, no doubt. I don't know if you saw at the end there. They actually managed, uh, BT actually managed to get on the cannon and almost hit the tank. And almost bring it down. If they had gotten that shot off before getting flanked and killed, I would have changed the whole game at the end. Well, you know, I, I, honestly, th that was a very good push anyways there towards the backside. They were able to do a really nice pincer attack onto the tank itself. You got to give it to Blaze. Like I said, doing a really good job there towards the end, uh, using his kit to the best of his ability there, allowing his teammates to come in very close to the point. So, yeah, very, very good job there. Now, uh, Apex here. These guys, uh, what, what do you think? You think they're going to be able to uh, to take this fairly easily, or do you think they're going to have a little bit of trouble on this attack? I mean, they are the favorites. I, I think they, they should be fine on this attack, especially with, the, with that mortar support. Uh, I know Prime's been doing a good job with that, but... Right now, Zab is doing a fantastic job with the tank. Three kills now with that tank. He is just lighting them up at the moment. And uh, we are going to be seeing... Legolas trying to come around, spotting out another one, taking down the raid leader, potentially going in for the tank himself. Nope, AIM is going to be able to kill him. But yeah, that was going to be a basically a squad wipe. Prime is still going to be up, but he's not going to be in any position uh, to do anything at all. 27 tickets at the very start here. Oh, Prime not in the best of spots, but he will be able to get the headshot. I gotta say, that is, that is definitely a frustrating situation to be in. Sola not able to do anything at all. Legolas now following it up. He's gonna end up dying. So Prime really doing a fantastic job in this position. But ooh, look at this. Getting those mortars down onto the tank. Tank has to move out of this little hidey hole. And there's the push. You can see it. Cortec, he's gonna go ahead and come on out. He's looking for the kill onto the tank. Zab wisely backs on up he's gonna be out of the fight here which is definitely gonna help out quite a bit bulldog and cash both getting onto the point as well shot and blaze doing all they can for the defense and it does look like so far nobody's gonna be able to burn it down just yet oh my god the splash damage from the tank is doing some work look at zap right here he knows exactly where to put those shots the tank is trying to do some work to come out and just clear this, but not going to happen. That was beautiful plays. And you have to give it up right there for Zab. Zab knows, hey, this is the time maybe to go ahead and get a little aggressive. Get some shots in the core tech. You see the mortars coming off as well. If they can actually kill this tank. Oh, that is massive. He's down to a quarter health. Legless, he's on the hunt. He might actually push this. And core tech is so low. One nay could basically finish him off, but I don't think Legolas is going to be able to make it over there to him. I think he's going to be uh, pulling back wisely, just holding on. Maybe he can get a couple of infantry play players. That's about it. Cash does spot out Sola. As he's going to go ahead and get pinched from both sides. Bulldog should be able to finish off this kill. I don't see him losing out on it. Oh, he does! Sola able to take him down. Does he get some cash as well? Does he get prime? Almost able to get two, three kills in a row on that left-hand side. Fantastic job. Will end up going down, but he did the damage he needed to. 18 kills now, or lives, left. Did you see this coming here, Deuce? And it looks like Deuce is gone once again. I'm here and I'm talking and it's just not letting me. <laughs> oh man. So what did you think about that exchange, man? I mean, that was pretty, uh, pretty crazy. That was actually crazy. I'm actually happy like Sola, Solax was playing like this because earlier on that side, he kind of messed up when we won for some more support and he went back twice and just made these crazy plays, you know, to help his team out on him, you know. Kind of oh, like absolutely. I mean, that basically saved that point right there in that push. But we are going to be seeing Blaze now up. The tank is now going to get onto the point as well from Apex. 
And uh, once again, Zab is just doing a fantastic job getting those splash damage kills. Blaze also going to be able to pick up one inside the house. This is just not your day, boys. Apex, you better go ahead and uh, reevaluate what you're doing because it ain't working. Uh, the tank's going to go ahead and back on up. And yeah, that is just, just fantastic plays all around. Legolas is getting a little bit aggressive. We'll be able to uh, potentially hear the footsteps. I think he knows there's a guy back here. Uh, but no, he's going to go out for this tank. Oh, no. This tank is so dead right here. There's... Oh, come on, Legolas. Tell me you got some nades left. Tell me you got some nades. There we go. We are going to be seeing one going down. He misses out onto the nade and does decide to go ahead and back out. That was a disappointment. How do you have taken down that tank? That That's... That's like a nail in the coffin almost right there for Apex. Not having armor for two minutes onto these pushes. Very, very big deal. And once again, Zab lighting it up. Takes down Bulldog. I gotta say, he is definitely holding this team together onto this point. Now, Zab is definitely in a bad point. He spots out the tank now, getting very aggressive. He's down to 29 health, so he is going to go ahead and die. His, he does bail out just at the last second. Does look like the other tanker now going to be bailing out. We have a tanker versus a tanker fight going down. Zab decides, hey, I need to go ahead and just get on the point, maybe help out my team. He is getting shot from behind, but the tanker's kit is just so bad. He's not able to make anything happen. Cortec now, the only one alive for Apex onto the point, and he should end up going down. He's still staying alive with that secondary. Oh, my my god finally does end up going out bulldog is going to make that first initial kill coming back on into the point this is so close right here right now eight tickets left in order to make this play happen zab does end up going down we do see winning out the burn still for apex a couple of players are going to be left onto the point as you can see lots of smoke going down both of these teams just trying to find where they're at. The neutralize is going to be coming on in. Aim is trying to do the damage. We'll be able to pick up Legless. And these players here now really struggling to get back in to try and prevent this cap. But I don't think it's going to happen as Apex has cleared everybody off the point. And there you have it. Apex oh. finally gets in onto the point. But that deuce was way harder than what uh, I think people were expecting it to be. Yeah, no, uh, you know, VT is playing out of their mind. I, I just felt like right there at the end when Solax went to revive, um, who was it, Zab, that it was just a wrong play because they had one guy in the corner and they ended up both going down on that revive and having to reset and they just ended up like uneven on the flag. So I felt like he just overcommitted with that revive and should have you know, played, it, uh, played a little more patient. Oh my God. Sola, right now, right now, can he make it happen? He picks up two. Can he pick up a third? He's very low on health. He does! He picks up three kills, stalling out the push once again. The revives do come in, which is definitely a shame, but only 14 tickets to make this push happen. I have to say, VT is definitely showing up at this moment. Can they take this into a draw? We are going to be seeing the mortars now they coming just out. Got their tickets back with those revives. They did end up getting back, but again, slowing down this push, giving his team enough time, enough information to know exactly where they're going to be coming in at. Trent Surgeon definitely doing some work here for Apex, though. I mean, he is he's keeping them in the game uh, as of now. But uh, we are going to be seeing a lot of mortars coming in. Ooh, Cortec, very very low, down to 50 health. He needs to be careful. Now down to 33. Can he make it out? 16. Oh, man. So close. He will go ahead and get the repairs going down. Nice place here from Prime as he will be able to pick up one. Only three left onto the point, I believe. Uh, Blaze actually is way away from this point looking for any kind of a flank. A little bit worried there, but he has extreme confidence, it looks like, into his teammates to make this happen. So you got to love that. Wow, I, I like this. I like this offensive smoke here from Solak. Uh, he's basically covering any kind of sight lines from that tank, allowing their own sight lines so that when they do push out of the smoke, they're gonna have an easy time of picking them off. So really like that decision there from him, and he's just trying to nose on out. Almost gets the kill. 
And Blaze does spot out at least one player on the train car. I think he's going to go in for the kill right now. Onto the mortar support. Oh, he's getting stuck by the cart, though. Now it's raid leader versus raid leaders. You see the bipods going down. Not quite able to spot the support. This is just a really, really good defensive hold so far. 11 lives left. Five minutes on the clock. Plenty of time, actually, for Apex to kind of slowly push this, which is what I do think they need to do at the moment. They need to kind of slow down a bit. Give it some time. Make sure you push as one. You see Legolas spotting out a couple of players inside the tunnel. Solo does end up getting hit a little bit here. But all five players now are kind of going to be stuck over in this corner, not really able to do much of anything at all. And Apex. I think what's key here is how many revives Apex has been able to get themselves. You know, well, they've died countless but, amount of times, but you know, they still only lost five tickets officially in the end. Yeah, but... but yeah, I mean, I agree. It's, it's, it's like what you're saying. Oh my god, the support here is just doing work. Pushing every person off at this point. We are going to be seeing Legolas now going down. And uh, unfortunately, I hit the exact wrong button there. Oh, but Zab gets picked up! That's a massive kill. AT Assault now going down. Right here for Apex. And we do see Cortec going ahead and walking on in. Shot ends up getting picked up as well. Oh my god, they could have just done this. Blaze is in a terrible position here to try and retake onto this flag. Bulldog will be able to take him out. That is going to be a full wipe going down. Apex waking up here. And as soon as they capture onto this flag, that is going to be game over. And one hell of a nail-biting round. My gosh, virtual what team. They were doing it. For what so long here, but yeah, the revives coming in for Apex, basically saving that round. You got to give the props to that man. I mean, uh, who was that? That was going to be uh, Cash, 15 and 15. Unfortunately, we can't see how many revives he had, but it had to have been way up in the double digits. I would say probably around 15 to, to 18 revives at least. Aim going 29 and 13, carrying them on their back in terms of the KD. On the other side of the map, though, it's looking a little bit more even. Nobody really going crazy. But, uh, I mean, you got to give props to Zab. Zab, th that man, especially on the first point, was just doing work. Team couldn't, you know, get it there in the end. It was so close. But you got to give props to him. Like, they, they, virtual team did a fantastic job. They were right on the cusp, I would have to say. And, uh, you know, Apex... Like you said, they were the favorites, but, you know, virtual team, if they're pushing them to the limit like that, they're going to have to be watching out in future future events. Oh, for sure. Well, V team, even even just here getting this far and playing this well, you know, especially now they're going to go to the to the third place. If they can get a third place, they're pretty much guaranteeing themselves a spot in Division One with this play today. So, you know, props to them and bouncing back from, you know, last week's qualifier ban. This could have gone either way, to be honest. Just Apex, you know, with that experience and that, little bit of superiority right at the end in those clutch moments that maybe you know bt aren't used to yet but you know experience yeah. will come uh so we are going to be pulling up the revives here for the two teams i don't really trust the uh the stats that they put here at the end screen um i i think that a lot of times they are wrong but it does say 12 revives for apex 13 there for virtual team i think uh if it was 12 revives i would say that probably eight to nine of them were there at the very second half because, like, that was uh, legit just crazy, crazy revives trains uh, trying to keep up their players alive. A uh, lot of heals going down over there, though, for virtual team. I uh, saw on the stats. But, yeah, very, very good game overall. I would have to say that uh, virtual team, you got to watch out for them. These guys, they're, they're, they're going to be making themselves known. And they did a fantastic job uh, overall in that mode.